Albers Class of 2021. Today we celebrate your achievement of graduating from the Albers School of Business and Economics at Seattle University. It has been a unique and challenging journey that has tested you profoundly and in many ways. It has been our honor to be with you on your path that has led to this day. So congratulations to all of you. I now invite you to join us in a benediction offered by Father Robert Grimm, Jesuit counselor to the Albers School. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for our many blessings, blessings of family and friends who surround us with love and support, blessing of mentors and wise guides who have opened questions and pointed directions, blessing of classmates who have laughed and cried with us on the journey and encouraged us to be confident in our gifts, blessings of perseverance, enabling accomplishment, as we celebrate graduation and look back in gratitude and taking a deep breath, look forward, may we live in faith and hope that our past is just a promise of fulfillment still to come. Give us generous hearts to live each day in joy, the courage to walk humbly with our sisters and brothers, and the opportunity to use our gifts and talents to help build and sustain your creation. Amen. Welcome everyone to the first ever virtual Albers Commencement Ceremony in this, the 74th year of the Albers School and the 130th anniversary of Seattle University. My name is Joe Phillips and it is my honor and privilege to serve as the Dean of the Albers School of Business and Economics at Seattle University. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Albers School, it is my honor to congratulate you on your graduation. Your degree is the result of your hard work, focus, and in this pandemic period, your resilience. Of course, you did not complete this journey on your own, but had the support of your family, friends, peers, faculty, and staff. If you have not already done so, be sure to thank them for the many ways they have supported you to get where you are today. The mission of the Albers School is to develop ethical, inclusive, and innovative business leaders who work for the good of their organizations, society, and the planet. This is an ambitious mission, and our success in pursuing it will always be judged by our alumni, which includes you now. We hope that when others look at your professional career, they conclude that we have successfully pursued our mission. We know what it means to be ethical. It is about knowing what the right thing to do is and doing it. It is about being a person of honesty and integrity. It is knowing what your values are and standing by them and not taking shortcuts that will undercut those values. Being inclusive. Being inclusive means respecting and promoting the dignity of others, your family, your peers, your neighbors. It is about not judging people by their appearance, the color of their skin or their gender, for example, but treating them as individuals and finding out who they are and what their talents and aspirations are. Being innovative. Being innovative means being in a continuous improvement mindset. It means asking questions about how things work and why. It means never settling for, this is the way we always have done it. It means seeing a pandemic as an opportunity and not just a threat. And why are you doing what you do as a professional? to help your organization to succeed, to improve the community that you live in, and knowing that our planet is under threat, helping to find a sustainable way forward that reverses this course. This vision of business leadership is not one where profits become the primary goal of a business, but rather is one where the leader understands there are multiple stakeholders that a business must consider, employees, customers, partners, the community, and also owners. What is also increasingly clear is that no problem that our society is now facing will get solved without the involvement of business and business leaders. Poverty, homelessness, affordable housing, institutionalized racism, sexism, or the declining health of our planet. In our vision of business leadership, our alumni and their organizations 
are stepping up to help address these important challenges. In closing, I again congratulate you on your graduation. We did not enter this academic year expecting a full year of online classes, but you are graduates, as well as our faculty and staff, rolled with it and made it work. That resiliency is a good sign of what you are going to go on to accomplish in your professional career and the contributions you will make to your community. Graduates, we have asked one of our alumni to offer some brief remarks in welcoming you into the community of distinguished Albers graduates. Nathan Wynn is the managing director and head of Consumer Bank for J.P. Morgan Chase in the Northwest region. In that role, he leads more than 2,500 banking employees in Washington and Oregon. Prior to joining J.P. Morgan Chase, Nathan had more than 20 years of leadership roles with Bank of America Merrill Lynch. Nathan is a graduate of both our undergraduate and graduate programs, earning both his undergraduate degree in Albers as well as a leadership EMBA. He has also taught as an adjunct professor in our finance program and serves on the Albers Dean's Executive Advisory Board as well as the Seattle University Board of Regents. Taking his Seattle University education to heart, Nathan is active in community and volunteer efforts and currently serves as the executive sponsor for the J.P. Morgan Asian and Pacific Islanders Reaching for Excellence Business Resource Group in the Pacific Northwest. Previously, he served as a board member for the Seattle March of Dimes and Washington State Mentors. Let's listen to Nathan's welcome. Thank you, Dean Phillips. Before I get started, I'm remiss not to wish Father Sunberg a happy retirement. You will be missed, and we're grateful for your leadership. So again, congratulations to you, Father Sunberg. And now back to our class of 2021, I wanna say congratulations to you as well. You all did it. In some cases, you made it. I can't believe I'm privileged to be able to address each of you. 19 years ago, I became the first person in my family to graduate college. Four years ago, I got my executive MBA at this great institution, Seattle University. It's hard to believe that someone like me who immigrated to the United States at two years old and watched his father work multiple jobs to put food to the table and a roof for his family is now providing you advice as you embarked on the next chapter of your life. I'm grateful I owe a lot to the experiences and education I received from Seattle University. As you reflect on your Seattle University experience, consider what you have overcome these past 15 months. Who could have fathomed that you would complete your past two years in Zoom classes? No other graduating class in history has gone through what you have, but you did it. I'm sure that each of you had moments where you questioned if you could do it. Did you think why this is happening? Or did you consider what lessons can I take from this experience? Think back, what did you learn about yourself? What was your mindset and how has it changed? I will tell you, these past six months were not easy for me either. At first, my mindset was all about returning to my normal day-to-day -day routines. It was inconvenient to me. It was all about me. That was my initial reaction. But ultimately, that's not who I am or what I stand for, especially not what I learned from Seattle University. As alumni, we know life is about serving others and having a positive impact in the world. As I reflect back, I realized this experience has brought me closer to my nine-year-old twins, Emma and Luke. I've seen more of my twins during the pandemic than in the first eight years. I was primarily responsible for their homeschooling, which meant I could have lunch with them, teach them math and other lessons. They even learned how to do their own laundry, something I struggled through in my time in college. All of this was possible 
because I shifted my mindset away from me and towards others. As you embark upon this next chapter of your life, consider how you will leverage your Seattle University education to face whatever challenges life has in store. What's your mindset? How can you remain true to the central lessons you see from your Jesuit education? Again, congratulations. We're proud of each one of you. I'm grateful, humble, and honored to have the opportunity to share you my thoughts, Seattle U graduates, class of 2021. Thank you, Nathan, for sharing your insights with our graduates and welcoming them into our alumni community. At this time, we would like to recognize several of our graduates for special awards they are receiving as part of our ceremony. The Jerry Viscioni Academic Achievement Award is named after former Dean Jerry Viscioni, who served as Dean from 1988 to 1997, and is given to the graduate student with the top academic performance in the Albers School. This year's award goes to Adma Farmer, who will be graduating with a Master of Science in Finance, along with an accounting certificate. In addition to her exceptional academic performance, Adma has served as an Albers representative on the Seattle U Graduate Student Council, was a member of the 2020 Seattle U Seattle CFA Society Research Challenge Team, which took first place in the region, worked as a research assistant for Professor Ben Yao, and passed the CFA Level 1 exam. Adma is now working full-time in the investment industry, and she has been selected for membership in Alpha Sigma Nu, the International Jesuit Honor Society. Congratulations to Adma for being this year's recipient of the Jerry Viscioni Award. The Albers Graduate Student Service Award is given to recognize one of our graduates for his or her high level of service to the Albers School during their time as a student. This year's award goes to Samuel Wangi, who will be graduating with a Master of Science in Finance. Samuel has worked as a client account manager in the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center's Small Business Capacity Building Program, Ramp Up. In this role, he has helped several black business owners access hundreds of thousands of dollars in new capital, primarily in the form of grants and forgivable loans. He has also served on the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center's advisory board as a graduate student representative, and as a student representative in the recently completed Albers School strategic planning process. Last winter, Samuel was instrumental in helping to form an Albers team for the first ever CFA Seattle Ethics Challenge, an international case competition held regionally and spearheaded by the Washington DC based CFA Institute. Thank you so much for your service to Albert Samuel, and congratulations on receiving this award. Mohammed Singe Adiprayogo. Maria Luisa Almeida Tavares de Souza. Riley DeWitt. Yesenia Rabi Farfan. Christopher Andrew Gibbons. Nathan Lincoln Graham. Akarsha Gulukota. Erica Holland. Sukredi Carr. Simranjit Kaur Hyun Jin Kim Eliza Kutapan Nelson Lua Haroon Qadar Mohammed Olivia Moore Angela No. 
Jenny Wen. Mackenzie Jean Richard. Michael Schlinger. Larry Sloan. Prabhshan Kar Shahi. Anna Velario. Yu Chie Wu. Jordan Babineau. Harris Batiaragic. Glenn Block. Sarah Brownell. Emily Lou Daniel. Naomi G. Diggs. Amber DeMarco. Kimberly A. Gilmartin. Dave Hall. Summer Ray Meyer. Christian Uhitanalu. Natalie Marie Pinkerton. Aaron Slater. Kendall Swinsky. Jonathan Taylor. Alicia D. Taylor. Michael Ronald Vaughn. Jose Bautista. Abigail Elizabeth Crowell. Jordan Bryce Dallas. Madeline Camille Doplek. Timothy Aaron Frazier Leslie. Marie Frances Heyman. Zoe Enardi Haywood. James Lawrence Jadlows. Kevin Lantry. Anthony Michael Naso. Skyler Terrence Lewis Randall. Sonam Punsak. Stephen Spray-Regan. Coco So. Zachary Thomas Walther. John Frederick Dogero. Jason Zachary Gann. Michelle Liza Abelev. Chongjin Chen. Yan Chu Chen. Yutong Chen. Claire Lizeth Cordova. Quinn T. Nok Dang. Shu He Shaoli He Carlos Manuel Jimenez Guiza Valentina Lenkov Hongyu Li Gladys Loretta Felicia Joanna Mardani. Campbell McKinney. Erica Yuki Ozawa. Colin Stafford. Shucha Tian. Yifan Wong. 
关杨，宁远杨，简印，全文有。明正，以正，用于正，就不如。Renato Albolia, Freeland Burton. Yunzu Chen, Zhao Jin Song, Zun Kui, Akshaya Doreswami, Cyrus Fardy, Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Andrea Gould Elibus, Eric Hestekin, Riley Ikalucci, Zhu Yi Jin, Pa Ausman Job, Evan Zumoto Ko. Chu Chun Kuo, Harry Lee, Bolin Lee, Yong J Lim, Wei Lin, Tui Tui Lu. Sakshi Madan, Bradley Andrew Mayfield, Delaney Messenger, Garen James Moss, Akira Nakagawa, Brian Royal Nebaker. Un Wen, Min Hu Wen, Duong Tai Wen, Jillian Flugrath Baz, Chuk An Fan, Feng Wen Nam Fan. Erica Ronquillo, Sylvester Setio, Alex Johnson Tobit, Jia J Shu, Chen E Shu, Xu Han Yang. Ning Yun Yang, Brianna K Yi, Zahira Zahin, Zichi Zhang, Yu Ying Zhou, Nora Salam Al Naemi. Arti Ashok, Brian Matthew Bergeron, Lucas Javier Cerbelli, Tao An Cha, Yu Chung, Keegan Robert Dunn. Jiao Qi Fun, 
Wen Shun Fang. Udma Farmer. Ravija Amlani Garg. Daniel Hong. Jinwei Huang Lingxi Jiang Jiaqi Li Yu Yang Ma'a Samuel K. Mwangi Boa Pong Sneha Lalitha Pendiala Victor Nikolaevich Patayakin Elijah Alden Singstad Gregory J. Wilson Yindi Shu Zichi Zhang Chien Wen Zhang Yi Chen Zhou Zhao Bo Zhu Yi Tian Juga Renato Albolia Bryce Allison Al Hanouf Altharwa Paul Donald Anderson Rachel Nicole Belvin Sidharth Bagwat Ryan Hartman Blair Maria Elena Blocker Ashley Brendel Ashley Bob Mai Fong Lam Bui Delaney Marie Burns Brooke Carlisle Wei Yan Victoria Chan Tan Tuang T. Chuche Kishan Joyce Davis Jordan Marie Denny Jeffrey Dixon Nicholas Ulrich Dossiger Beatrice Joy Durr Zachary William Ewald Riley Patrick Gaffney Jebba Diane Gillespie Fernando Danielle Gonzalez Bradley Gray Eamon Hamid Luke Allen Hamlin Emily Christine Hendrickson Leslie Hepner Kelsey Elizabeth Hoffman Thomas W. Hoff Stephen Scott Jackson Patrick M. J. Bush Stanimir Vasilev Kachikov Ram Krishna Anne Marie Britt Leah Alan U. Luan Tyson Lumpkin Scott McGee Matthew Mazzoni 
Nasteha Ali Muse. Brian Royal Nebaker. Viet Kwok Wang. Ugantseseg Odzer. Mark Allen Parrish. Jamie P. Penny. Madeline Lane Petrin. Karina Tweevy Pham. Gina Relles. Vinit Sagar. Allison Rose Shane. Shauna Marie June Ship Martinez. Jason Daniel Trammell. Sarah Ann Uffer. Megan Elizabeth Vandersloss. Brianne Wine Vanderlinden. Joel Wise. Jennifer Young. Theodore Joseph Young. Li Wen Yu. Christopher Michael Davis. All of you named here today have been recommended by the Alberts faculty as having met the conditions for graduation. And it is my great pleasure to accept that recommendation and authorize you be awarded your degree. We welcome you to the community of over 20,000 alumni of the Alberts School of Business and Economics. Congratulations, class of 2021. While we are disappointed that we cannot celebrate this day together in person with you, your families, our faculty and staff, Know that we are enormously proud of your accomplishment and look forward to seeing you use your education to help lead the way to a greater, better future. A just and humane world. So again, our congratulations to all of you.